Sorry. I was counting down the seconds till seven forty. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm starting at seven forty so I can eat it, and at eight forty. So yeah. <laughs>
Well, I'm proud to see. About the lesson and the video stopping, right? Uh, yeah, I'm recording. So, uh, we had a silly. Okay, so I hope you don't know that it's 8 30 because my mom came over here and so I paused the video, but that was part of my practice. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> So much stuff. <laughs> Over there. No. No. Listen, you know, you cannot store this next to the heater, you chump. I'm sorry. Well, you could blow the house up. Sorry. So every time you, excuse me, it's my turn to talk. Every time you play this, it sounds gorgeous. So either you're finished with it, or you have things to work on with it. Did you ask Marsha what you're supposed to be working on? Okay, good. And I suggest you use it for your thumb also, because even though I don't play the violin, I happen to know that in order to have a really good staccato, you have to be able to do that. And if you don't have your thumb bent, you can't. Oh, I'm sorry. It got in the way. Totally. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
is what my shirt at. Now I live on this seven. <laughs> Stop at 8 40 because I started at 7 30 and I did some stuff with my mom off video. So, yeah. <laughs> I was holding it without my hands. It was a, that's very confusing. Anyways. I'm gonna start on this looking measure. I mean third.
me too. I wrote Carl Flesh Sharp to eleven, even though it's five to twelve, so I need to fix that here. Now I said later, so that means later. Um. Let me just say that. We are talking about the bow arm and how it makes the sound of the violin, and we did it on like a song. Yes. Whoa. Okay. Use the metronome. Okay, I will. Not you. Or you. Okay. So, Eugene wants me to practice it at 144. That's the metronome speed I was at that he asked me to do. He said, He sent me to do that. So, I'm gonna do about 92. <laughs>
slower and with dynamics than faster without any dynamics at all. I'm not sure you need to slow it down. You just said to. I just said what I'd rather. I didn't say you had to. I'm not sure that you're not able to play it with dynamics at this speed. I think you probably are.
tell you a story? Well, it's not supposed to be like sparkly and happy. Well, there was a very, very famous little girl named Shirley Temple, who was an amazing dancer at age four. She took the world in her hand. She danced for the world and she cheered up the whole world with her dancing all during World War II and the terrible times after the Depression. And you know what her mother used to say to her before she would go out on stage? Sparkle, Shirley. All I'm saying is, I want you to add some dynamics to these staccato notes or whatever you want to call them. I don't know how you're going to do it, but they need to all sound different. You may need crescendos and decrescendos, just like the rest of the piece. They sound good. You've got the sound down. Now you need to take it to the next level, which is to make some music out of it. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. You need to give people a jolt. This is a, a rainstorm. Twinkling stars. I don't know what it is. But you need to make music out of it, Ella. You've got the sound. Now take it to the next level. Get your bow hand and let's hear you go. Bum, 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 bum. I don't, if you don't want it to sparkle, make it rumble. I don't care what you do. Good. Now it sounds like music. Thank you. Practice the way you're going to perform it. your practice and I can help you on a Saturday morning. Let me just tell you something. Everybody in the world who plays violin can play Vivaldi and it's boring. It is like an exercise. It's like perpetual motion. Yeah, eh, 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 eh. The part you just played is like perpetual motion. It is super boring and you have to make music out of the whole thing. Just because you can rip through it and play it fast doesn't make it music. Just because a, a kid can go, doesn't make it music. It's hard to make perpetual motion sound amazing. And it's hard to make Vivaldi sound amazing. And playing it with the metronome is only one piece of the puzzle that you have to do. And if you're going to practice it with only making it the metronome correct, it's not going to sound like music. And I'm stopping you so you can take charge of this piece and make music in all these sections. Look at the section there that you just played and tell me what the pattern is that Vivaldi did. What is he doing here? He's repeating it. And how is he repeating it? It's not yeah uh 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 yeah, uh, 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 uh uh he's doing something, isn't he? What is he doing? He's putting an octave and then you go up the scale and then That's right, he's going up a scale. Okay? So that means that is this where it is? No. Show me where it is. Okay? That means that Okay? No, this is what I'm talking about. No. It's up a scale. E, F, G. Well, that's not the part I just... Well, I don't care if it's not the part you played. I'm talking about the part you just played, wherever it is, sounded like somebody playing perpetual motion. The notes were in tune, and that's fantastic. The bowing went well with the metronome. But you have to add the icing on the cake, or as Danielle used to say, the fudge topping on the ice cream cone. And you're not. You're just playing through it. 
and you know it really well. And when people play through things that they know really well without working on them, I don't call that practice. So play the part that you just played and practice it for me. Show me what, that you can do something different and, want, and wonderful with it. without getting faster. That is one of the hard things about Vivaldi, is that when people get louder, they get faster. And that's why they want you to use the metronome. Okay? But that was better dynamics. So I don't want you to practice any of this piece without dyna dynamics unless you're actually working on the intonation. Okay. I want dynamics every single time. Grizzly bear dynamics, fairy dust dynamics, crying dynamics, ah, thunderstorm, lightning. Because like I said, everybody can play Vivaldi. I could even pick up the violin right now and play through that. Probably after about an hour, I could play it okay. Not as well as you, but it's not hard. And that's okay. It's hard to play it fast. It's hard to play it in tune. And it's hard to play it with dynamics. And you need to not forget about the dynamics when you're practicing. That's why you have two different people. You have a Eugene who never lets you forget about the dynamics. And you have Marsha who never lets you forget about the technique. And between the two of them, you're amazing. And you also have Ella, who his job is to decide, is this when I use Marcia's voice? Is this when I use Eugene's voice? And put them together. And sparkle. Okay? Don't play with a sour puss expression whenever you play through something, especially when you're playing through something. Five minutes of sparkle is worth 45 minutes of playthrough. Okay. So I want 10 more minutes before you get ready for REM. So what do you want to do? Two pages of Vivaldi. Are you still doing uh, Lalo? Yes. Okay, what are you supposed to be working on on that? Um, the first thing I um, I got on the first page. And so when Marcia sees you on Monday and you play Lalo for her, she's going to say, Oh, Ella, you really worked on. Fill in the blank. What, is she, what do you want Marcia to say? Wow, I really noticed you worked on blah, blah, blah. Tell me what the blah, blah, blah is you're going to surprise Marcia with. For 10 more minutes, I want you to find a blah, 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 and I want you to work on it. Okay? Open up Lalo, set a timer for 10 minutes. And work on something that Marshall will say, oh, you really improved those five measures or that, that vibrato. I don't care what it is. You pick it and you figure out what you can, what little chunk you can work on right now, okay? One chunk. Promise is the last thing. 
Okay, every time I hear you play that, it sounds pretty much the same, although it's getting faster and better. I'm but trying I, to make it faster. It's well, I'd like faster. to hear some dynamics when you go up there. Look at what it says underneath it. Big, huge crescendo. Yeah! Let's hear that. Slow it down, put the crescendo in, and then speed it up with the crescendo. Make it blast it off the ceiling, sparkles. super strong and I don't know if you have the technique to make it grow all the way you may not have that yet Ella because you're only 10 but that's what it's supposed to sound like big 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 you know not just da da it's da 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 you know see if you can do that with an open string what string is it on the E string A and E Okay, so why don't you start on A and just go open A to E and see if you can gradually get this relaxed up. See if you can get some weight in there and then yeah. But A to E. Yeah. Okay, now try. How did that feel? Well, the reason I'm doing it on the last note is because I have... Uh, I'm it. not saying the last note isn't good. The last note's amazing. I want the second and the third to last note to be a little bit louder. If you can do it. Uh, maybe you can't do it. I don't know. Ask Eugene and Marsha. Maybe I'm wrong. You can tell them, then you'll have a whole thing. My mommy told me to do this, and that's why it's wrong. Won't you have something good to tell them? Oh, <laughs> 